This episode of TRS is brought to you by Thunderbolt by HTC, the only phone that can harness the power of 4G LTE. Coming up on today's show, we kick some ass with our review of Bulletstorm. Everybody. Welcome to the Totally Rad Show. Today's Monday, starting a big week. Today we are talking about the new video game Bulletstorm, which we, I'd say highly anticipated. Indeed, and tomorrow we're checking back in with you, the viewer. We're opening the mailbag, plucking out mail, reading it. Virtually. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna mime it. <laughs> and on Wednesday, we get to chat about the movie coming out this week called uh, The Adjustment Bureau. Correct, Amundo. Thursday, we're back for Media Mashup, which will be super fun. And then Friday, we got another movie for you, Rango. Johnny Depp as Rango. a lizard. As a lizard. As a Rango. As a Rango. <laughs> uh, we want to thank uh, our friend Will Noble, who sent <clears throat> in this background. That is a rad background. Epic hand sketched, I believe. I think this is actually a photo of paper on a desk. Yeah. He drew us. Yeah, which is our epic. Our Which is awesome. If you'd like thank to have you, your background, Featured, I guess I was like shown, shown, backgrounded, featured on the show. Please feel free to send them to fans at totallyradshow.com. Shall we get bullet Let's stormed? Do it. Storm it up. Today we're talking about Bullet Storm, the new game from Epic games and people can fly people can fly is a polish developer their first game was a game called painkiller did any of you guys play painkiller uh no but got it yeah very over the top pc shooter from a few years ago uh a game i enjoyed quite a bit when it came out um now they've got another game that's very much over the top bulletstorm is a a game about a pack of dude bros that uh like blowing stuff up and uh, one of them, they, they crash land on a planet. Uh, one of them, the character you play, Gray, I believe his name is, uh, finds this thing called a leash, mm. and it plugs him into a whole network that starts to uh, award him points for stylish kills. So you have this point system, um, and the leash allows you to flip people up in the sky, you can kick them, you can throw them into things, uh, and all of a sudden you start collecting all these weapons and doing really, interesting, creative ways to dismember and destroy. Uh, it is a very violent game, very profane game, uh, but it is uh, tons of over-the-top action uh, on the Unreal Engine. Alex. Yes. Did you, uh, do you, do you want an umbrella for your bullet so storm? Said, did you weather the storm? Uh, uh, much better. Uh, much better, much better. But I also had an umbrella. <laughs> um, yeah, interesting. I was really excited about this game um, because I really like the concept of not only just the sort of um, the sort of Call of Duty uh, joy button of oh, I must have killed it because I got XP, and then to be adding on top of that one, showing doing that in in single player. Yep. Which I wish everybody would start doing because it makes it a lot easier to know when the guy's dead. <laughs> um, but two, mm. adding on that layer of the sort of fun juggling of different deaths. It's basically a giant achievement game mm -hmm. where you can actually go through and look at the list. And I, there were a couple times where I was like, I feel like I've been getting a lot of tens, you know? And it was like, look at the list. And I was like, oh, I haven't shot somebody in the nuts and then kicked their head off. I'll try that. I had a you know hard time I mean? trying to do that, actually. So that's my, <laughs> biggest, that's my biggest complaint with this game, which is this game is not fun to play. The, the fun of playing it is not there. The fun could have been there had the shooting been better, had the, the actual gameplay been better. I feel like if this was Gears, where I could slam up against a wall and hold height under cover and then pop out, choose my shots more carefully, whereas usually what ended up happening was if it was like one guy, I'd be like, okay, well, I wanted to try the balls head thing. Try it, did it, great. If it was two or three people, it was, <laughs> Get you, headshot, 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 and and it, it there was no way for me to be able to like I'm gonna try to do these cool things that the game allows me to do. Boy, for the most part, I I really disagree. With, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm and and I feel like it to me it showed 
how great the gameplay of Gears of War is. Hmm. The sort of stop and pop, the like sliding and the thing. I don't need a jump button in Gears of War. I felt constantly glued to the ground in this game. I was like, why, why is there no jump button? in this game. Please tell me you got to the sniper rifle. Yes. You did? Yes. I thought it was the best sniping in the history of video games. Yes, it was very good sniping. But you, the, the, it's, I didn't want to just have to snipe. I mean, I love me some sniping. Right. But it's not a sniper game. It's not Sniper Three. Well, but you can use game. the you can use this. I mean, you can choose your loadout from that. You, you you lasso into this console yeah. and you choose your loadout. Yeah. And I love. I mean, there's a lot of games. Well, I wanted to say Go real ahead. quick one more thing. A lot of slowdown in the cutscenes for me. I mean, to you the mean point where I thought, technically. Yeah, I thought the game. I thought my Xbox was going to literally just stop at the beginning of this game. Two, it seemed very un even as far as story versus cutscene versus gameplay, especially at the top, the pacing was really boring to me. Because it was like, guys, bam, 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 fade out to black. Fade into random cutscene. Fade out to black. I definitely Fade agree into with that. guys shooting. And I was like, Whoa. there's a prologue to this game, and I agree with you. The prologue is atrocious. Yeah. It should be completely removed, doesn't really add much. Yeah. Um, Dan, what did you think of, the, of Bulletstorm? There's too much to agree and disagree with. Uh, I enjoyed the prologue. <laughs> I, really? I, yeah, I actually really like the story in the game because it was very simple and not convoluted, which is weird that that is. A achievement to laud in video games because it seems so many video games are very convoluted and I loved the simplicity of the story and it, I, I enjoy the amped upness the it very it made it very fun um, it's very 80s it's it's funny how what this is the the, the, sen the sentimentality of this game is is the action stars of the 80s it's it's um, brawn as as opposed to smarts versus evil. It's commando. But that's and most Predator. video games. I know. Well, that's true. But it, but this this is this it really it. celebrates that. And I think that I just so funny to me how I'm waiting for movies to circle back around to that. And I feel like maybe the video games ad adaptations are the way back around. Interesting. Because we 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 have antiheroes now as our and we have. Guys with glasses and smartly figuring out Jason, uh, Matt Damon, you know, which yeah. I love. Um, but I've always wanted. Yeah, can we go back? Glasses. Can we go back <laughs> in the rocket? We've attempted a little bit with the rock and all that stuff. But like, this is really. I mean, it's Carl Weathers and Arthur Schwarzenegger, hot, you know, shaking hands but shaking arms instead. Like, I, I so I, that was fun. I had a lot of fun playing the game. I thought mm. that the ex, the the crit, as you said, making it one big achievement to unlock made it a ton of fun because if without that, it would have felt like another first person shooter hmm. um, that looked great and sounded great and did all those great things, but just another one. And the XP stuff really made it, I wasn't just, I was playing like almost like a Tony Hawk game. I was like, yeah. Yeah. how can I kill this guy? <laughs> like when a guy was floating towards me when I leashed him, I was like, where can I kick him to get the point? So it's always like a fun combo-y thing, never a, I feel like I'm gonna die, I just need to kill people. So I, I never g felt hmm. the, um, just spraying bullets. I was always trying to have fun with it because the game really celebrates that. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. I, I disagree with you on the story point. I really had to get past that and I felt like yeah. the prologue was so clunky and so, and these guys, you know, they go in and they look at a, a screen and they're like, you know, yeah, that, it says here that yeah. all these people were innocent. I it's know. like, what? Yeah, like, yeah. How did you get oh, that information? No, and then they like make decisions based off of that yeah. one yeah. second. Fact, and I, at I, least one guy I, was like, hey, good decision, buddy. But other than that, that was that, funny. It was, that but was I have to say, game, yeah. as it went on, as the game mm. went on, I it would totally won me over with the humor because I thought the humor was really base and just kind of easy and yeah. lowest common denominator. Yeah. And then it gets really kind of clever and I started laughing at a lot of stuff. Mm. Uh, Interesting. It started enjoying it, and I agree with you 100% about the the combat. I, I think it's the most fun I've had with a first-person shooter in a long time, mm. and I was completely surprised because I knew going in that this was going to be a sandbox uh, kind of experience where you're supposed to be creative with kills, but I anticipated that feeling a lot like something like Red Faction where, or, or any of these other kind of sandbox shooters where, yeah, I can have a lot of fun, but then I sort of click into the things that I like the best and whatever. Yeah. But, it's exactly what you said. It's more like a Tony Hawk game or even like a like a Street Fighter where I went into the to the battle going, I'm going to attempt to do oh, this right. thing. Street Fighter's like that. Street yeah. Fighter, you're like, I'm gonna fireball. Like, this yeah. is my yeah, first yeah. time fireball. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I have a specific thing I wanna do, so I need to set myself up to do that thing. And it became more fun of how am I gonna get that specific because what they do smartly is the first time you get 
uh, one of these unique kills, it's much more points than yeah. subsequent times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you constantly, want, and, and the points are really valuable because you need them to unlock right. stuff. Right, there's not just an achievement, it's like yeah, you yeah. need it it's to a currency. It's money, the yeah. Game. It's yeah. money, which is smart. And you really get to define how much money, I mean, so many of these games have have like money drops where you find them in the game and then you can spend them, but yeah. then that means that the developers have put a finite amount of money on the game. You right. really have the opportunity to have infinite money Monies. depending on your creativity. Yeah. And I'll go back to the sniping. The sniping to me is like, there's so many games where you control the bullet after you shoot it, yeah. and it's amazing how just having the enemy dodge at the last second makes it so much more fun, so much more, so much more unpredictable, yeah. and I mean, it's so satisfying to me. I was like, I was like, Alex is gonna love the sniping <laughs> in this game. Um, I did. I just, but there were so many things like couldn't get into cover. Like the cover was squat, hold right. the squat button. That's not that's not cover, especially. And I really hate. I hate. I wish that I could. I wish that game designers would say, if you can't hug cover, no character in this game should do cool cover shit. Yeah, you because I hate that when that. I'm literally like, like just taking a poop, holding my thumb, trying not to get shot, and my buddy's like one leg up, under the shoulder, <laughs> hugging the back, shooting over the cold. I'm I like, think I want to do all of that stuff. I don't think they want you to. to but to it kept stay saying, cover. get under cover. Yeah, well, well only because you're. Yeah, like, yeah, getting my ass kicked yeah, because yeah. I'm trying to spray the bullets and but do all exactly, the stuff. Because I find that I've gotten very <clears throat> bored with games where I'm just in cover and it doesn't matter how good the graphics are because I'm just like hitting dots far away from me, you know. So like I, I, I also feel like it's so hard to innovate in first-person shooters. Every game does so many of the same things, yeah. and you like when Gears did the reload thing. We were like, "Oh my god!" Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like it's, it's, you wouldn't think there was anything else to do, and like the and that's leash, in this game with and the, the cool double. Leash. And I love the yeah. double tap A slide. Awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Like, oh my god! Now I feel like I hope some games borrow this. Well, I there's a lot of games. Uh, which we call it that. The game that came out uh, begins with a V. Doesn't matter. Um, oh, I know. Vindic no, not, not Vindictus, but Vanguard. Vanguard. Van Vanguard no. Yeah. No, nope. I don't think that's right either. Uh, <laughs> that but, is a game, though. We have to talk for a second. Uh, the uh, Godzilla level. Yes, oh, where you're controlling yeah. the thing. Oh my God, yeah. so much but that's fun, awesome. dude. Set Epic piece. has those great set piece moments. Yeah. Is like all the gear. This this game got me excited for Gears Three. I, I don't. I don't. I, 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 I see where you're coming from. It's that dude bro thing, and I think Gears Three is going to be amazing. It just it Great. felt so. What did I say? Two. Two. Uh, I think it felt so unique and so different. It makes me sad that you didn't love it more. It was fun. I just the game. It completely won me over because I was like, this game is stupid. When I, the first you know twenty minutes to forty minutes I was playing it, I was like, this game is dumb. It's insulting my intelligence. Yeah. And then it just like totally won me over, which yeah. is such a unique experience. Do you think they would ever make Gears? As to ending thought, do you think they would ever make Gears first person? No. No, I mean it's its own thing. It's okay. a third person. I think they will. Good know. question. I'm just trying to be controversial. <laughs> <laughs> so remember to stick tuned. We got this day in rad history coming up, but we want to thank our sponsors. Uh, we are sponsored today by the Thunderbolt uh, for Verizon 4G LTE. The Thunderbolt is the only device powerful enough to take the power of Verizon's 4G LTE, harness it into telephone awesomeness. What? The Thunderbolt is mobile hotspot enabled, which means you can have access, Wi-Fi access, anywhere for up to five Wi-Fi enabled devices, which is epic. Check wow. it out, coming soon. Awesome, that Just sounds like awesome. Just like us for tomorrow. <laughs> Check out tomorrow's episode when we answer some of your questions. So today is February 28th, and on this day in rad history, way back in 1983, the final episode of MASH airs on CBS to a record 125 million viewers. Just to put that into some perspective, the final episode of Cheers was 80 million. The final episode of Friends, 52 million. The final episode of Cosby, 44. And shockingly, at least to me in this, the final episode of Lost, 13.5 million people. Yeah, it's a it's a record that will never be broken. Oh, I right. think it's pretty clear. And in that in that shows, you know, as we move through history, the potential pie is being smaller and smaller yeah. as we go. And there's just so many more channels now. There's yep. you know so many more things. It, it reminds me of, you know, I think about in the 50s, like the World Series, like every everyone yeah. listened to the same thing or watched the same thing. Yeah. And like this is probably 
closer to us, obviously, but still, like, that's still, the vestige is still there before TV was taken over by cable. Like, yeah. we all were still all yeah. watching the same thing. Yeah, that's crazy. Did and you I guys never watch Mash? I didn't watch the movie. It's Robert Altman. I have, someone sent it to me, and I still haven't watched it's it. A, I mean, it's a great movie. Yeah. It's a little... The show's not, great, too. Yeah, and the show's great. I, I mean, reruns. for me, it didn't really connect as much, just because yeah. I don't know if it's of our time, but it's still, you get, you see why it all happened.